it is snowing, but yesterday it was, I don't know, like 12 degrees. And I was wearing a sweater and then now I'm wearing my winter jacket again. And that's on living in Canada. <laughs> I have swapped dogs, and now we do it all over again. You ready? He doesn't really like the rain as much, so he wants to go inside. But you need a little bit of a walk, okay? Let's go. Let's go. We are back home. That was not the most pleasant way to start the day. It is really cold and snowy and windy, so the snow is just blowing in your face. But the dogs were happy. And that is my main goal in life, is to make my dogs happy. Dog mom life, you know? But I am very cold because of that. So I'm going to take a nice, quick, hot shower. So let's do that. And then we'll go downstairs and make some breakfast before we really kickstart this day. Also, welcome to the daily vlog, to the day in my life. I am officially my own boss and I'm working for myself. So this is essentially a day of what I do. Every day is a different because I have a lot of different social media platforms. I'm starting my own business. So you're gonna see some of the behind the scenes of that today. And I am also a writer. I am working on my novel. So I'm trying to space that out throughout the week. So some days are definitely more YouTube focused and then other days are more coaching focused or TikTok focused even. Follow me on there if you wanna see some cute little vlogs for what I eat in days and things like that. I'm hoping to incorporate some more fashion too. But anyway, let's let's shower. I love a good shower. We are all ready. I feel like I'm serving like 80s slash 90s look with this bright pink and the scrunchie, the hoops, the simple makeup. I'm living for it. And let's go downstairs to make some breakfast. So for breakfast today, we are having homemade croissants. Amazing. I know I didn't actually make them, but recently I've been ordering from this place called Lufa Farms instead of going to the grocery store because it's a little bit more sustainable and I'm also supporting local businesses. One of my subscribers actually recommended it, so thank you so much. But in my order, we have these croissants that are from a bakery that you essentially leave out to rise for around eight hours and then you just brush them with egg and put them in the oven for around 16 minutes and you have a fresh warm croissant at home. So while the oven is preheating and while my breakfast is in there, I like to answer my Instagram DMs. Oops, I'm gonna turn that off. I do get quite a few message requests, but I do answer them all, especially if they are a question or something about my channel. And I like to answer them on my laptop. I just find it's so much faster and efficient than trying to stare at my small screen. So I'm going to do that this morning. I also have to edit and post a TikTok. And that's about it. I do a little bit of emails and that kind of stuff at the beginning of the day. And then I'm going to move on with things that I have to do. It's currently 10.10. I will try to show you the time throughout the day so you can understand how long it takes to do certain things, but let's answer some of your DMs and let's also edit that TikTok together. I wanna warm your lonely night. I wanna make you mine. I feel energy. TikTok is up, emails are answered, DMs are answered, and now the questions are ready to go in the oven. So let's put those bad boys in. Man, oh man, you're my best friend. Got me to the very end. Not the way that I do love you. I'm a good girlfriend, so I'm gonna go bring Andrew his breakfast, and then we are gonna have some breakfast. We'll look at this gorgeous breakfast. I'm also filming a TikTok today, a what I eat in a day. So I'm gonna take a cute little picture of them for TikTok. Anyway, 
While I eat breakfast, I make that list of everything that needs to be done today. Today is primarily a YouTube day, so I need to edit an entire video. I am also filming this one. I need to make a thumbnail. And for those of you who don't know, I am actually a writer. I've been working on the same book for years now. It has definitely changed and transformed over the years but writing is my number one passion, so I do prioritize it within that window of nine to five, and my best writing time is in the morning or in the early afternoon. So today I'm going to take two hours to write, and then I'm going to walk the dogs, and then my goals for today, like I mentioned, is just to edit that video. It's a what I eat in a week video. I know y'all love them. It's gonna be up before this one. So right now it is 1046. Also, if you would like to see a dedicated writing vlog where I answer some of your questions and I can potentially talk about my work a little bit more, then let me know in the comments down below because that is something that I would love to do. And my favorite YouTuber who is also a recovery YouTuber and um, a writer and a lovely person, her name is Charlie Ann. I'm gonna link her channel down below. She also has tons of writing vlogs and content on her channel. So if that's something that you would like to see, then you can head over to her channel and check it out. I don't watch a lot of YouTubers. I probably can count the YouTubers that I watch on one hand, but I watch every single one of her videos. She is just such a comforting presence. So I definitely think that you would like her as well if you're not already following her. We're so good. It's around noon and I didn't get as much writing done as I would like, but some days are like that. But anyway, I think I'm going to take the pups on a quick walk and then we can get to editing a YouTube video. So I am currently going to start editing. It's loading as you can see, but I just recently started using Final Cut Pro. So everything is definitely new to me and I'm still figuring out the software. It's definitely different from what I was using before, but like I said, I'm just liking it so much and it's fun to experiment different editing styles and everything like that. My editing, I find is super simple, clean, nothing crazy but I am definitely trying to spruce it up, spice it up a little bit. I don't know if I filmed an intro for this video, so if I didn't, then I'm gonna have to do that right now. This is my lunch for today. I have a kale salad. I get these kits from Costco. They are so good and so convenient. Some garlic bread on leftover sourdough, and I have two chicken legs, and this is going to definitely give me some energy to edit my YouTube video. It's 3.07 and I still have an entire YouTube video to edit, so let's do it. We're dubbing down cause now you're daring me to Move a little closer, closer And I just wanna hold ya, hold ya I wanna wrap you up in my arms So make this pain I'm going to explain right now how I edit my YouTube videos. Let's do that. Excuse my dirty screen. I like don't know how to clean this properly. So I have all of these files here and I essentially do a rough edit. So there is no music, nothing like that. These are just the clips and I adjust the speed for a couple of them. And once I do my rough edit, I'm going to add in my transitions. And then after that, I save it to my desktop. You can just save it here as like a master file up in the corner. And then after I have my rough edit, that's when I add in more major edits. So I do the music. Um, if I'm adding text, I'm doing that later. If I am adding in a meme or anything goofy like that, it's all done afterwards. I essentially after have like one big video instead of all of these choppy clips, and then I add the text on top. 
But yes, tomorrow will be a little bit more editing and also some website design. I'm going to show you right now a tiny little sneak peek of my website. It's going live, I think mid-April. I don't have a specific date yet, but I'm thinking of making everything live on my mother's birthday. It would be her, I think her 57th birthday and if you're new here my mom actually passed away when she was 39 so it's been a long while without her I miss her dearly I love her and I just think that it'd be a nice way to honor her I'm not sure if logistically I can do that but that is my goal so let me show you what the website looks like so I don't want to show too much of it but this is the backdrop I love the colors and everything and you scroll down and there's me I can click it so I can go to the about me page. So after my website is live, I'm actually also going to recommend the person who's creating this website. He's doing such a wonderful job. And if you yourself are in need of a website, I would highly recommend working with him. All of that information is gonna come out soon. I'll be posting it on my Instagram and also on my YouTube. I just wanna make sure that everything is final and up and then I'm going to be able to share my overall experience. Anyway, I am getting a phone call, so I'll talk to you soon. So I've given up editing for the day. My brain is fried and I'm just, I'm not being productive. And tomorrow is Friday. So on my agenda for tomorrow is to finish editing this video to show you how I do my thumbnails. And I'm also going live on Instagram. It is my first time going live alone, so I'm nervous, I am afraid nobody is going to come. Even if one person is there, we can chat and that makes me feel super, super happy. Are you jealous? Are you jealous? So I just got ready and I'm feeling really pretty. So let me show you my outfit. I'm gonna try my best. I still don't know how I can do this without a full length mirror, so. So oh, this is the outfit I chose. This is from the thrift store. I showed it in my most recent thrift haul and it just makes me feel so good. I haven't curled my hair in a really long time. Andrew is doing construction, so I'm gonna try to do this quickly. I haven't curled my hair in so long and I did some cute little makeup and I just feel really good. I also filmed a TikTok, so. Fun stuff, we've been productive. I'm going to get stuff ready for my live right now. So all of the cooking ingredients and then we are gonna go live and then we're gonna edit a video. Today has just been such a good day. It's crazy how doing your hair and makeup can just make you feel like a badass bleep, you know, so much better than before. Yeah, so excited. So I've got everything set up for my live today. This is super fun, a little bit of behind the scenes. This is how I set up for my live. So this ring light is from Light Me Up. I think I have a discount code for them. If I do, I'm gonna leave it linked below. And I just have my phone plugged in. It loses battery pretty quickly. So I make sure everything is plugged in and good to go. And I am so excited. Honestly, my mood has completely transformed since yesterday. I'm just in such a good mood. I'm feeling so happy. I'm feeling so grateful and so blessed. So yeah, my life went so well. I love you. Thank you so much if you were there. So how I make my thumbnails is I go on to Pick Monkey. It is my favorite service. I have tried Canva and a couple others before. That's about it, that's the extent. And PicMonkey I find is very user friendly. It's a little bit harder than Canva and you do have to pay, but it's worth every penny in my opinion and you can just cancel if you don't feel like it's for you. I'm gonna show you some of my past thumbnails instead of just editing this one because who knows how long it'll take me, just so you can get a gist of how I personally edit mine. So these are some of my past thumbnails. So let's click on this most recent one. I'm just going to edit the image. So for this, I have several different images and these I can move around. You can remove the background for this one I already did and I added in my own background, which was Phoebe for my thrift haul. And this is basically everything that I layer. There's all the texts, my different images. So this screenshot, this one over here that I've removed the background for all of them. This is the Phoebe background. And essentially I just try to find what works best for me. 
for my fear food video as well, I just took this photo and I enhanced the colors a little bit. And for that, you can just go over here to touch up. Nope, that's a lie. You can just go to effects if you wanna amp up the color. And I like to use color amp just to give things a little bit more of a boost. So you see there, I changed the color of my jacket and you can add in whatever text looks best for you. I added in my fear foods here and I like to add in some animation now and then. So these stars are little graphics that I added in too, just to give a little bit more pizzazz. So for the text, there are actually a bunch of effects. So here it is curved but you can have it straight you can play around with it and do whatever you want and then you can also change the curvature of the text so here i just want it going the other way so i do that but that's about it nothing crazy i use final cut i use pick monkey i don't use photoshop or anything like that i know that adobe premiere also has an editing software but I haven't used it, but that is what this work day entailed. Again, every single work day is different. Some days are more writing focused, other days are more Instagram focused um, or business focused or anything like that. And if you wanna see a specific work day, you know what I do for Instagram or what I do for TikTok, for my coaching business, please just let me know in the comments down below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was very fun to film and it's definitely a completely different side than what I normally show. This is sort of the business side of me, you know? And with social media and with running your own business, there's always something to do. You know, like the problem is that you can work, you know, 24 seven, but that's just not feasible. It's just not sustainable. So I try to set up my days in a way that I feel successful and where I feel happy with my work, you know? So I'm gonna do the thumbnail for this video and then I'm just gonna call it a day and I'm gonna watch some Netflix, maybe take a bath, relax. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know what videos you wanna see down below. Make sure to give me a big thumbs up and I can't wait to chat with you in the comments. Bye guys.